Hi everybody, welcome back. This is our fish and how I tie this red ribbed nymph with a little gold head, three mil bead, size 12. I fish it on a sink tip line, probably about a 10 foot leader to the first fly, and then I tie off from the hook shank, and then the five foot, I put another one on, and I fish it as a duo. I just cast it out there, let the tip sink for a little bit, and then bring it back as 12 inch strips along the banking or just slightly out three or four foot from the bank in. This was the first time I'd fished it and it was to great effect. I got three fish on my first visit. This was only during my dinner time. So now I'm gonna go on to tie this little simple fly. All we need, black thread, size 12 hook, a three mil gold bead, a couple of fibers from a pheasant tail and some red wire. That is it, it's so simple. So let's crack on with it. So for this I've got a 140 thread, wind down towards the hook shank, cut off the excess and then wind it back towards the bead. What I do then, a black pheasant tail or a pheasant tail that's been dyed, cut off about seven or eight fibres and then tie them down along the hook. I usually make the tail about eight millimeters. You can make it a bit longer. Again, if you think it's too long, you can just trim away at it if you wish. It's trial and error. Uh, I've got long ones and I've got short ones and they all catch fish. I tie that in. And then the next thing, I get some 0 0.20 red wire, tuck it in behind the bead, tie that in, and then just leave it dangling down. What I need to do now is build up the body. And again, aim for a carrot shape, thin at the base, thick at the top. But don't go over the bead, just go slightly under it. And once you're happy with that, then all we simply do is wind the red wire towards the bead. Do four or five turns. Once you've got it in position, tie it down, two or three wraps, tie off the thread and then snip off the thread. As always, I get my trusty lighter out, burn off any straggle. And then once I'm happy with that, I get some UV resin, or in this case, I use bone dry. I just gently dab it all the way over, leave it for a very short period of time to soak in. and I hit it with the ultraviolet light. Letting it soak in enables the wire to stand out a little bit more. And that is your simple red ribbed nymph. As I say, you can do it as a size 10 if you want, in a way that will become like a stalking bug. But this on a sink tip line, one at 10 foot, one at 15 foot, I cast it out, draw it back at 12 inch strips, and it gets me fish. A very simple nymph to tie and not a lot of materials required. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all later.